Is Betelgeuse's end approaching? It's certain that this enormous star will eventually depart the cosmic stage in a violent explosion. Yet some researchers believe this event might happen sooner than expected. What implications does this have for us? Could the massive supernova disrupt Earth? And why is Orion's shoulder star now showing behavior that puzzles astronomers? Big, bigger, the Sun. In our daily view, our Sun often represents the ultimate cosmic standard, unmatched by any other celestial body. This is certainly true within our solar system. With a diameter of about 1.4 million kilometers, the Sun easily dwarfs all its planetary neighbors. Theoretically, Earth could fit into the Sun over 1.3 million times. However, when compared to other galactic giants, our central star begins to shrink significantly. Located in the constellation Orion, Betelgeuse surpasses our Sun in every astronomical measure. This giant star, known globally as Betelgeuse, has a diameter 800 times that of the Sun. In comparison, the Sun becomes a mere speck that could fit 500,000 times within Orion's shoulder star. The luminosity differences are equally vast. Betelgeuse shines 10,000 times brighter than our heat and life source. Consequently, this celestial body, about 650 light years from Earth, is visible to the naked eye. In the Northern Hemisphere during winter, spotting the red supergiant is nearly unavoidable, and it has been so for quite some time. Betelgeuse was already recorded 2,000 years ago as a yellow-orange glowing point in the night sky. Yet, like all celestial objects, Betelgeuse is not a fixed, unchanging entity. Its nature is highly dynamic. The measurement of its radius through interferometry has shown that it fluctuates by approximately 15%. Interestingly, Betelgeuse was the first star for which this measurement technique was used to determine its radius. These fluctuations are not confined to just the radius. They also impact the star's brightness. Specifically, a noticeable change in luminosity occurs approximately every 270 days. This variability is attributed to Betelgeuse's current evolutionary stage. Red supergiants like Betelgeuse exhibit a characteristic of both expanding and contracting over time. This pulsation is directly linked to the variations in brightness that we observe. Consequently, the changes in brightness are a direct result of the star's pulsating behavior, which is a fundamental trait of its red supergiant status. However, a few years ago, experts were made acutely aware of just how drastic and above all, how puzzling this spectacle can be sometimes. Back in October 2019, a process began that led to a drastic reduction in Betelgeuse's luminosity. By February 2020, its brightness had fallen to less than 40% of its average initial value. This marked the faintest Betelgeuse had ever appeared since the beginning of astronomical observations. Once experts noticed this unusual phenomenon, they quickly set out to understand the underlying causes. Some researchers viewed the diminished luminosity as a result of overlapping brightness cycles. Conversely, other experts worried that it might signal something much more dramatic, an impending supernova. Typically, a stellar explosion is preceded by a significant expansion of the star and a notable decrease in brightness. This pattern could suggest that Betelgeuse might be on the verge of a supernova event. The debate among scientists centered on whether this dramatic dimming was a temporary phase or an indication of an impending cosmic event. In the same breath, while no star has been directly observed before a supernova, it remains uncertain whether such a dimming happened several years or just hours before the event. However, there is no doubt that Betelgeuse will eventually make an explosive exit. Based on current knowledge, the red supergiant is expected to leave the cosmic stage far in the future, as it recently reached its final stages. The ultimate supernova is likely about 1.5 million years away. 
Yet some researchers predict a much shorter timeline, estimating Betelgeuse could vanish from the space charts within the next 100,000 years. After Betelgeuse regained its former brilliance in April 2020, scientists discovered the cause of the brightness drop. In August, Hubble Space Telescope observations revealed that the star had expelled a massive cloud of hot, dense material, which cooled, condensed into dust, and blocked the emitted light. This cosmic dust veil made the star appear to lose its luminosity dramatically. With an explanation now at hand, Betelgeuse has presented another enigma. Since 2023, the star has been shining significantly brighter than usual. What happens when Betelgeuse explodes? In the same breath, although no star has been observed directly just before a supernova, we don't know if such a dimming occurs several years or merely hours before the event. Nonetheless, it is certain that Betelgeuse will eventually make a dramatic exit. According to current understanding, the red supergiant will bid farewell to the cosmic stage far in the future, as it has only recently reached its final stages. The ultimate supernova is estimated to be about 1.5 million years away. Nevertheless, some researchers have proposed a much tighter time frame, suggesting Betelgeuse might disappear from the star maps within the next 100,000 years. After Betelgeuse regained its former brightness in April 2020, scientists uncovered the cause of the brightness drop. By August, Hubble Space Telescope observations revealed that the star had expelled a huge cloud of hot, dense material. This material cooled, condensed into dust, and obscured the starlight, making the star appear to have lost its luminosity. With this explanation resolved, Betelgeuse has since posed another mystery. Since 2023, the star has been shining much brighter than usual. Is Betelgeuse spinning too fast? The neutron stars in question are renowned for their exceptional rotational speeds. In 2004, researchers identified one such star that rotates 716 times on its axis every single second. Although Betelgeuse is far from reaching such extreme rotational speeds, its own rotation has already captivated the interest of astronomers. The challenge with Betelgeuse is that its rotation is puzzlingly rapid compared to what is expected for a star of its type. Recent observations from the ALMA Observatory in Chile, using radio telescopes, suggest that Betelgeuse is rotating at an unusually high speed. Generally, as stars expand, their rotation slows down, so the rapid spin of Betelgeuse stands out as an anomaly. Betelgeuse is currently the only known star of its kind exhibiting such rapid rotation, raising numerous questions about its behavior. One hypothesis proposes that Betelgeuse might have swallowed a smaller star. According to this theory, it is possible that Betelgeuse has accreted a companion star during its evolutionary phase. Although this idea might seem far-fetched initially, it is not entirely unusual in stellar astronomy. Massive stars often interact with nearby stars, and this interaction can include the absorption of smaller stars. The angular momentum from the swallowed star might have been transferred to the outer layers of Betelgeuse, resulting in the observed increase in rotational speed. However, Jingzi Ma from the Max Planck Institute for Astrophysics in Garching, near Munich, offers an alternative explanation. He suggests that Betelgeuse's appearance of rapid rotation might be due to the presence of massive convection currents on its surface. These convection currents, which are essentially large-scale movements of plasma, can create varying shifts in the observed light from the star. Specifically, the surface of Betelgeuse is covered with enormous bubbles of rising and falling plasma, which could cause a blue shift in one part of the star and a red shift in another part. This differential shifting can create what is known as a bipolar velocity field. In this scenario, even a star that is not actually rotating might appear to be spinning rapidly, 
due to the movement of these convection currents. Thus, the observed rapid rotation might be an optical illusion caused by the complex dynamics of plasma movement on Betelgeuse's surface. Future investigations and higher resolution images from ALMA are expected to provide further insights into this phenomenon. Preliminary observations have already been conducted, but the data is still under analysis. Scientists are hopeful that these future studies will help solve the mystery of Betelgeuse's rotation and clarify whether its fast spinning is a true characteristic or merely a result of surface plasma dynamics. We encourage you to continue following our series of observations and updates. Don't forget to press the like and subscribe buttons to stay updated with all our latest videos and never miss out on exciting content from our channel.